Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to make another episode in my mid Size Girl Tries series. So if you saw the first episode a few months ago, I tried the Levi's ribcage jeans. I picked a few different washes and different sizes and tested them out and told you whether I would recommend them for a mid Size body. Today, I'm gonna to be doing the same thing, but for some and other stories denim. So And Other Stories is one of my favourite brands, it's the brand I go to for so many different things, but I tend to steer clear of their denim because I find, at least in the past, whenever I have tried it on, it's been very much designed for a tall girl, someone who's maybe in the range of five foot seven and above, things always end up being too long on me, and also someone with a slightly thinner, more straight up and down frame as opposed to someone with a few more curves. So I've always just kind of ignored it and scrolled past it on the website or browsed past it when I'm in store. However, I have noticed that over the past year or so, they've very much expanded their denim range. They've got quite a few different styles that are part of their permanent collection now in different shapes, different cuts, different rises and different washes. So I thought it was about time that I tried them out and see what I thought particularly when it comes to them on a mid-size body. So for reference, I am five foot five. I'm typically a UK 10 on top and a UK 12 on bottom. This means I range from about a 28 inch waist size 10 jean to about a 30 inch size 12 jean, depending on the brand. I usually fall in the middle, so a 29 inch, which some brands make and some brands don't. And that is the size I will usually pick up in Levi's as well. So hopefully if you have a similar body shape to me where you carry most of your weight on your bottom half, you're definitely more curvy, you have a small waist and bigger hips, then this review is gonna be really helpful for you to see whether And Other Stories jeans are a style you might like to try. If you do enjoy this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up because it does really help my channel out. And if you'd like to subscribe, the button is down below. So let's get started with the review. So the first pair I'm gonna show you are the Keeper Cropped Jean. So these are a high waist, rigid denim with a regular leg. They're basically your very bog standard straight leg jean. Now they are designed to be cropped, but as I said, and other stories jeans do tend to run quite long. So these actually work out as being a regular ankle length on me. They're pretty much a full length jean. So that is something to bear in mind if you're looking for a cropped jean, but you're under five, six, these are probably going to be full length on you. If you're taller though, that's great because I know it can sometimes be a struggle to find jeans that actually are an appropriate crop and not way too short. So as I said, these are a rigid denim, which means they're made of 100% organic cotton. There's absolutely no stretch, no elastane in them. And I was not expecting these jeans to fit me for that very reason. I don't think I've ever tried on a pair of 100% cotton jeans that actually fit me well. There's usually a way too big waist gap at the back, the waist is too big and the legs are too tight. For this reason, I picked these up in a 30 inch leg because I knew with the rigid denim there was just gonna be no chance of me sizing down to a 29 or a 28. It is worth noting that that is something I really enjoy about And Other Stories is they do offer those half sizes, so like the 27, the 29, the 31. It just makes it so much easier to find a pair of jeans that actually fit you. So as you can see from the try on, these fit me really, really well. I was actually really pleasantly surprised by the fit of these. I will say that I don't think these are a high rise, at least not in my opinion. I'm very much used to wearing the Levi's ribcage and other similar jeans that have a super 12 inch high rise. These are definitely not that. They remind me more of the Levi 501 cropped, which I would say are more of a mid rise. And I think these are more of a mid rise as well. They fall quite a bit below my belly button. I do think that gives them a little bit more of a casual feel, which I quite like, especially paired with the relaxed leg. So these jeans retail for 65 pounds and they come in five different washes. So there's a really good range of colors. The sizing ranges from the smallest being a waist 24 
um, and the largest being a waist 32. So there is a good choice of sizes. And as I said, I love that they have those half sizes included in there. Um, I would love to see them extend their sizing beyond a 32 because that's really not very big. But other than that, I don't have many complaints. The second pair of jeans I have to show you are these treasure cut jeans. These really caught my eye and I was also not expecting to like these on me. They're very much a kind of jean that I love on other people, but when I try on, I just feel a bit big and bulky and I don't find it very flattering. However, these were the complete opposite. I adore these jeans. They're a wide leg jean. They're 99% cotton and 1% elastane. So unlike the last pair, they do have that little bit of stretch in them. So they really kind of suck you in they're high-waisted and they're a true high-rise as well and they mould to your body because of that stretch. I picked these ones up in this dark indigo blue colour. I think this is perfect for a more evening look. They're a little bit more dressy than a light or mid-wash jean. I love pairing these with a really pretty blouse and some heels for an evening kind of casual but dressed up look. These ones, because of the stretch, I got in a 29 inch waist and they were definitely pretty tight when I first put them on. But even after a couple of hours wear, they have loosened up. You can see they definitely are not too tight anymore. There's a little bit of give on the waist and they've just molded a little bit more to, to my body. I will say I love the look of them when you first put them on when they're fresh out the wash because they are super tight and you feel super sucked in um, but in reality they are more comfortable when you've worn them in a bit. But I would definitely recommend with these ones picking the tighter fit even if they feel really really tight when you first try them on because they are going to stretch out a little bit. I would say that they're true to size though because I am usually a 29 waist. The length of these, I think they're supposed to be full length and they are full length on me, but they're not too long, which I was surprised at. And I really like the length. I think it's perfect for the wide leg. It pretty much stops at the very bottom of my leg, at the top of my foot. One thing to mention is that these have a zipper fly as opposed to a button fly. The first ones I showed you had a button fly. So these ones retail for £75, so they're slightly more expensive. And they do also come in a range of different washes. There's a lighter wash pair. I think there's even like a beigey oatmeal pair. I definitely recommend these if you're looking for a pair of wide leg jeans and you're curvy like me. I think they're gonna fit you really well. To be honest, even if you're not curvy, they're gonna fit your body either way. Um, and yeah, they're just something a little bit different for me. I've never owned a true wide leg pair of jeans. So I am really excited to add these to my collection. Okay, and the third and final pair I have to show you were a little bit of a wild card for me. I was not expecting to like these as much as I do. I think they're actually my favorite pair of the bunch. And that's because they're very much like a cool girl, very modern style of jean that usually just does not look good on me because of my curves. But I was really pleasantly surprised by this pair. So they're the Sublime Cut jeans. They're a high rise, they're a straight leg, they're slightly longer than the other two pairs I've shown you. And they're a rigid denim, so they're also 100% cotton. They've got a zipper fly and I've got them in this light blue wash. I will put down below if there are other washes available I couldn't see any at the time of filming this but it may be that they add some more because I think this is quite a new style of jean for them I got these ones in a 29 waist I would say that they run true to size again like the second pair they are very tight when you first put them on but even though they're 100% cotton they do still give that just a little bit I think all denim does that so I do prefer to buy them tight and then have them kind of mold to me as I wear them but I would say that they generally run true to size I tried both the 30 and the 29 and the 29 was the best fit for me these are so cool. I love the length of them. I love that they just bunch ever so slightly over a shoe, a trainer. I love that they're not too long, that they're dragging on the floor, but they are proper full length jean. I just think they look great. These ones retail for £75. And I would say these are the most similar to the Levi's rib cage. So if you want a cheaper version of the Levi's rib cage, I really do think these emulate them quite nicely. They have the high rise, they have the long straight leg length. They are rigid denim, which some of the rib cage are and some aren't. 
So I would recommend these for a midsize or curvy body. Just make sure you try on a couple of sizes, I think, because it does depend on how you like your jeans. Some people like me like them super tight. Some people like them a little bit looser, so you might want to size up. So that is all of the jeans that I have to show you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're like me and you have those curves, this is gonna help you choose the right and other stories jeans for you. All of the links to the jeans that I've showed today will be in the description box. And as it is Black Friday coming up, if there is a discount code available later on in the week, I will update the description box. So hopefully when you're watching this, if it's close to Black Friday, there'll be a discount available to you as well. I know that And Other Stories have quite a few more pairs in their permanent collection. There's things like the Deer Cut, there's the Favourite Cut, and there might be a couple of others as well. So if you enjoyed this video and you'd like a part two where I review the remainder of the collection and tell you which ones I recommend from those, then let me know down below and I'll make sure to do that for you. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.